So today I'm going to use three fourths of a gallon out of a gallon. It's a gallon of whole milk. Um, this is milk from Target. I don't think it matters what milk you use. You know, what brand? I've only always used whole milk. I haven't tried skimmed, but I think whole milk a paneer is the best, but any brand will do. And then usually I use my instant pot, but today it's I just find it more convenient. Today I'm going to use the pan so that it boils faster for the sake of the video. And one tip I have is to coat the bottom of the pan with a little bit of water. And that just prevents the milk from burning at the bottom. So that's the only reason. So my stove is on and I'm adding about three fourths of a gallon of whole milk. And then we want to boil this milk. We want to actually see the bubbles come out. So I think I have about three fourths. And then while the milk is boiling, I'll show you what are the things I'm going to use for the paneer. So this here is vinegar and water that I'm going to use to curdle the milk. This is half and half approximately, like half a cup of vinegar, half a cup of water. I haven't measured it, just whatever. This is a really, really heavy Dutch oven. And this is what I'm going to use to press the paneer. I don't have a mortar and pestle. Um, this is my paneer maker. And I'm going to put it in this colander so that in case anything spills, any of the paneer spills out while straining it, I don't lose it. It's still in the colander and I can use it. And this is to catch the whey, a spoon to stir. And this is the setup that I have for um, for pressing the paneer. So this plate, um, it's got a little bit of curve to it, so it holds the way. And then I have this plate with holes in it. And on top of this, I put the paneer maker, right? This is the paneer maker. The lid will be up top here. And then I put this to weigh it down. So this is how it's going to look, but this happens much later. So for now, we're just waiting for the milk to boil. So the milk is almost ready to boil. We have to make sure you see, ah, I see the bubbles now. You see, you see the bubbles. Make sure you see the bubbles because if the milk hasn't boiled, your, your paneer will be more like a cheesy texture. It will be very like rich and cheesy rather than like paneer. So this boils, you must have seen it rising. And now I'm going to add the mix of vinegar and water. Add it slowly. Add a little bit, stir, so no change. I'm going to add some more, stir again. I see a little, it breaking apart a little bit. Add some more, stir. And what you want to, when you stop is, when this, the way is absolutely, it, it starts looking greenish. So I'm going to add a little bit more. And when, once you see these big, like, chunks of uh, paneer dis, uh, separate out, then leave it. You see? Now the, the way is like greenish looking. It's all separated. So the paneer part is done. I use out of that bottle that I had, I probably used about half of it. And now I'm just going to let this rest for a few minutes, like maybe one or two minutes. Look. You see the pan and don't stir it anymore because you know now it's going to get that nice big pieces of paneer. So I'm going to remove this and I don't need a cloth or anything. I'm just going to strain the I'm going to strain it through. Let's wait for a little bit.
going to be really hot, so don't lift it like I did. I think I have like iron fingers or steel fingers. I can do it, but my son calls them Indian fingers. Okay, so now once it's done, we take the lid and press out any excess water that you can. And you see, if your paneer is made well, nothing's going to come out of these holes. Don't be afraid that something will come out of here. So we press it really well, as much as you can. You don't need to like go crazy. And that's it. There's just a little bit sticking out through the sides and that's it. And now I'm going to weigh it down. So now I'm going to put it on this and I'll smooth it out a little bit too. Now really important, you see how the lid is sticking above the container. That's where you want the weight to go, on this part, on the lid, not on the container. If your weight rests on this, it's not going to strain out any water. It's not going to work well. So now I've got this set and I put this, I'm going to move it. And you can see the water straining out you can see it collecting in the plate so i'll leave it like this for about an hour yeah you see it's resting on the lid it's pressing the lid down that's when it strains when the lid presses down on actually on the paneer so it's been over an hour uh, yeah, almost over an, not almost an hour, over an hour. And now for the climax, the suspense, oh, the suspense. <laughs> so you can see there's a lot of water collected here. And now we're going to take the paneer maker and flip it over, right? And then press down on this part. This outside slides right out. And then I'm going to take off the bottom plate right here and the top plate. Now, if your corners are kind of crumbly, you can just cut that part off. Like this corner is crumbly, I'll just cut that off. Maybe because it didn't press get pressed down, but you know, it's later it's when i cook it it's not going to crumble so here i'm cutting the paneer you see look at this and let's chop it into pieces Look at the pieces, perfect, you see? It's spongy, it's, look at this, perfect pieces of paneer. Okay. So I've cut the paneer into pieces and I'm going to put it in the fridge it will firm up even more. Um, you, you can just put it for an hour, but I'm not going to use it today. I'm using it tomorrow. So, but uh, yeah, that's all done.